So this is a tutorial for the fantasy building tile set and the fantasy building furnishings for taverns, inns, and homes, and, and whatever else that they can be used for, uh, which is included in the bundle. Or you can buy the two separate sets separately if you, if you just want one, one or the other. So show you these real quick they're real simple to use the sets are included as add-ons so when you open your start page to your game you will have to add them to your game as an add-on and all of the buildings I'll start off with the building set and show you that real quick so all of the buildings are organized into uh, folders so that they're real easy to find and you'll see that you have some backgrounds uh, preset backgrounds so that you can just drag and drop those out. Let me change the map layer. There we go. And uh, you have a couple roads. So that if you want to add like roadways or you know walkways that lead up to the actual buildings, those are available. You also have a number of different styles of buildings. So you have stone, which is just going to be stone walls, stone floors. Uh, stone on wood and and then you have stone walls with aged wood floors for a older look Then you have wooden walls with wooden floors and then finally wooden walls with aged wood floors So and I'm gonna go with the stone walls. This is one of my favorites is the stone walls and wood doors or aged aged wood floors and You can just simply drag and drop these right out onto your map and you can start building just by overlapping the different buildings here to create uh, your own custom custom buildings. Each one of these are going to have corresponding pieces that go with them, such as uh, matching door arches. So if I just wanted to put like an open archway into the next room there, I can do that. I also have a variety of different type of doors. And uh, we also have some stairs, so we'll put a little. Let's put a little stairway down into a, a cellar back here, corner. And there you have it. That it's that simple. Now both sets do come uh, with some sample buildings. The building set actually comes with unfurnished rooms, uh, ready for you to drop down furnishings in. The feature the, the furnishings set comes with the buildings already furnished as you see here and for this set oh and I must add also that also in the um, fantasy building set all of the stone buildings on stone floors are compatible with my geomorphic dungeon set so that if you wanted to use those to create dungeons either randomly or custom you can also dress them up with the building with the stone buildings from the building set so they they work together really nicely so in this one uh, same thing organized into folders so that you can find everything uh, very easily and you'll see that we have a variety of different things and you have uh, some pieces that just drop in like the little butcher set here and I can drop a cleaver on top of that. Let's move in a little bit closer so we can see the detail. And we also have shelving sets that already have stuff on them as well as shelving sets that are completely empty for you to stock with whatever you'd like. And uh, one of the cool things about this is just a little trick for Roll20. Some people may know about this already. Some people will be surprised at finding out that you can do this. Is uh, tinting objects so that you can make it appear like you have even more objects than you do. So for example, we can take this bed here and we can actually change the tint color. Let's, let's make it a little bit darker blue. Maybe, oh, okay, so it creates a, like a purple effect. And you can play around with the tinting and change the colors of some of your objects. Uh, again, it just makes it look like you have uh, a lot more objects with actually having that many objects to have to manage. 
Uh, another thing in this set, let's go back to one of the, the maps. And the maps already include dynamic lighting. It's already included on them. So any of the objects in this set that put off lighting, uh, say for example the candelabra here, as you can see, already has the uh, dynamic lighting incorporated into it. The fireplaces also do the same thing. And they just kind of put off a little bit of a glow to, to show that nice warm fire. And so there you have it. Uh, a couple new sets that are real easy to use, a lot of fun, and you'll get endless amount of building time with these, making taverns, uh, NPC homes, adventure locations, inns, and uh, even more. So have fun. I hope you enjoyed. And if you like the sets uh, and like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can find out when uh, new sets like this are going live on Roll20.